Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be playing a game that we played uh, as my very first video I've ever made, um, called Cenozoic Survival. Now, if you remember this, uh, I haven't made videos on this for, like, months, almost a year, in fact. Um, but they've updated so much on this. In fact, it's not a beta anymore. I'm pretty sure this is the actual game like this is the final not the final one because they're still going to update it but there's no more betas or alphas or testing branches in this so today we're gonna begin um we will be playing as a quagga today uh why because um i've played as direwolf uh yesterday as for my recording um and didn't work out very well. There wasn't a whole lot going on currently. So I'm just going to be a quagga because I had some more stuff going on. It was a little more fun and somewhat chiller at the same time. But they're still adding uh, creatures. So right now they have quagga, direwolf, uh, tool elk, um, and Helen again. And I think that's it. They also have does for the, uh, the tool elk. Which is like a little more different than just like a female. So we we'll just get out of this um, snow biome. That's the pelican, by the way. So they've done a really good job on this. Um, like the an even the animations, just everything is just it's amazing. There's so much you can do with this. Um, and if you guys remember, I actually was going to make a, a documentary with Tenozoic Survival. But uh, I didn't do that because it, I, I had no plans and um, I didn't have a private server at the time. So I wasn't able to um, do stuff like that without other people being there. And it, it, it would have been very tricky because of that. And yeah, it did drive to the end. But now, it just, it's just been so good. I, I can't wait to fill this uh, daytime. I'm also surprised I'm actually being in this queue right now. Usually it's dark, but maybe it's just not fully nighttime yet. So let's just keep it in peace. Just a little bit. Oh. There we go. So, um, the controls seem to be around the same. Nothing too new. I usually don't play as a Quagga. I used before I didn't really play as it. Um, so I'm probably gonna be pretty bad as a Quagga. I, I just want to see how what they've done. And if uh, people like this video, and you know, if it goes well, then I'll make one maybe uh, with the direwolf. Or looking how the direwolf looks like. And we'll see how that goes. And hopefully, I'll find like a pack or something when I do that. And then, uh, what I'm really excited about is uh, playing as a pelican. That that seems to be really fun, and they're they're very fast. I should probably put my night vision on. Yeah. Okay. It does get darker over here. So, I'm probably gonna break my legs quite a bit in this episode because, uh, I tend to do that in my uh, past recordings. Every time I would break my legs. So, I'm gonna try not to, but, uh, I'm probably gonna break my legs anyway. Come on. Alright. Okay, no sense right now. Being Quagga is relatively simple until you're being chased by something. And then you only have a few seconds to live, pretty much. Let's see. I should probably actually do this. Oh, okay. up on everything. 
no sense somewhere near. I've also seen that um, the scent are a little bit different. I'm pretty sure with water, like, that might be like purple. Because I remember uh, I would sniff around and I would see like purple markings somewhere in the dark. But there wouldn't be anything beyond. But I've actually went to it yet, so I wonder what they actually are. Uh, I've ran into Darwin's countless times before, so I might do that. Just to give you a heads up. I've got my expect button ready in this case. The daytime mode? Oh my gosh. This, this becomes so much better. Like all the lighting and shadows, everything just looks so good. Okay, kind of in a dangerous spot right now. Let's see if I can kind of go cool. down. Okay. All the animations are great. Come on, almost you got this. It's like a train thing. Oh, oh th there's a jump. Oh, I did not know that before. Usually, I remember um, when you would press the jump, it would just be like a normal jump. Like you just press space and you would just do a little hop. But now you can hold it and wow, that's that's cool. Oh, it seems like it's been getting lighter now. Come on. Oh wow, that is useful. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, okay, still getting used to controls. Okay, so it seems, seems like um, you can't move while jumping. Uh, it's not easily for me. Yeah, because I keep turning. Which is also really good that you can uh, turn quickly like that. Okay, I'm using a lot of stamina. Let me just get up this mountain. I'm gonna rest right here. Wow, this is beautiful. Let me turn my HUD off for a second. I'll just leave it like this for now. This is, this is nice. All the snow in this too is just all oh, out. Wow. I can get to see how good they've done. So these will be all the calls. I don't remember playing with Quagga very much, so I'm fine. I can know what most of these calls do. I remember that there was one. Yeah, that one where you can put do that. Nod to. So I think zero. Oh, it turns like head turn. Oh, and then now there's not, no head turn. For now, I'm gonna leave it as no head turn. To just look at the animations a little more. Wow. They've done a good job. Oh, it also turns off that for the HUD, which is good. Nice. 
And the rest. The rest seems like uh, before. Uh, uh, a little different, maybe. A little better. And of course, you have like a more resting, like laying down. So I wonder how much stamina the Quagga has. Seems like quite a bit when you're just a uh, normal sprint, just running or galloping. Some more rivers over here. Oh yeah, I've been running for a while and barely lost anything. This might seem like a good place to stay for a little while. Oh, a floating tree. Interesting. They've just done so good on this, and I, I can't wait until they add more creatures and patch some stuff, things like that. This is- they're, they're doing a great job. Oh, I made it! Oh, I'm learning how to use everything now. I don't even know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. That's all I know. It's stopping me to go quick break. That noise is. I keep hearing some kind of noise, but I don't know if that's any, like just like the normal noise just around you, or if there's something actually near me. That sounds like a wolf or pelican. Okay, that that was definitely. Good. Seems like the noise go quite far. Here, Pelican, or I mean, Quagga. <laughs> if there are anywhere, they're probably like somewhere there's more open land. Yeah, I haven't even made a Cenozoic video since the Gorgops appear, which, by the way, was very fun to make. I had a little more fun with my editing, and it was just. It was really fun to make and play and. I'm glad you guys liked it too. It's actually one of my most popular videos. Oh, and it's a floating tree. Uh, must must be glitch. Part for the hammock. Okay, that sounds really close. remember how to play now. Okay. I don't think it's going to be that far. I went pretty far. Nope. Keep going. I'll be very careful so I can break my legs. Ooh. Dang, that was close. 
Okay, let me regain some stamina so I can get out of here. I kicked it a good amount of time, so... Wow. Almost got him right there. <laughs> it's getting rough now. Probably gonna come out of the dark again. I think we might have won. Nope. Going back. Come on. Nope. It's, it didn't work. I got him. this video here i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time bye bye